Welcome to the third presentation in the series of micro, MIMS Micromachining Overviews presented by the Southwest Center for Microsystems Education. This presentation is a brief overview of the LIGA micromachining processes used to fabricate micro-sized devices. As a reminder, MIMS means Microelectromechanical Systems. Two other presentations discuss surface and bulk micromachining. All three of these processes enable the fabrication of micro-sized devices such as gears and gear trains, cantilevers, probes, needles, accelerometers, and micro-sized rods and springs. Because of the size of the devices fabricated, all three processes require clean rooms to reduce contamination during processing. Liga Micromachining was developed in the early 1980s in Germany and is a German acronym that basically stands for lithography, electroforming, and molding. Liga allows for the fabrication of unique devices not easily possible with surface and bulk micromachining. One such device is illustrated here. This image illustrates a mesh of angled structures that can be created using Liga. LIGA is an additive lithographic process which allows for the fabrication of complex three-dimensional structures with aspect ratios greater than bulks 100 to 1. LIGA is a type of HARPS process, meaning high aspect ratio microstructure technology. Devices in LIGA can be several, meter, several millimeters tall and only a few microns wide. LIGA can also produce high aspect ratio molds allow for mass production of micro-sized components made of polymers, metals, and other moldable materials. Let's take a look at an overview of the LIGA process. The process is very similar to surface and bulk, but different materials and equipment are used. Plus, there are a couple of steps unique to LIGA. The first step is to apply a thick x-ray sensitive material such as PMMA, also known as plexiglass, to a conductive substrate. The next step is expose followed by develop. After develop, an electroplating or electroforming process fills the cavities formed during develop. Electroforming is followed by CMP, or chemical mechanical polishing, then a PMMA strip and component release. Looking at these steps in more detail, the substrate for the LIGA process is a conductive material such as silicon or titanium. A layer of PMMA is either spun on the substrate or bonded to the substrate surface. The masks used for LIGA are constructed with a substrate that allows x-rays to pass through, such as beryllium or silicon, and then patterned with an x-ray absorbing layer, such as copper or gold. The graphic illustrates a patterned gold layer on top of a beryllium mask. The beryllium is transparent to x-rays. For the exposed step, collimated x-rays from, from a synchrotron radiation source is directed toward the mask. The gold absorbs the x-rays, while the openings in the gold layer allow the x-rays to penetrate the mask substrate and expose the PMM layer underneath, PMMA layer underneath. Like photoresist, the radiation modifies the PMMA so that the exposed material can be removed with a suitable and selective developer process. After expose is develop. In develop, the exposed PMMA is removed, leaving a mold with high aspect ratio cavities, holes, or trenches. These cavities are filled with metal using an electroforming or electroplating process. Each of these processes is explained in more detail in the micromachining le learning module. The electroformed metal is planarized to flatten the top or surface. The PMMA is then removed and when applicable the part is released. Depending upon the component, the remaining structure could be used as a stamp, to make molds, or to be the end product. This animation shows the steps for making high aspect ratio gears using the legal process that we just reviewed. There is no audio, so be thinking about what is happening in each step as you watch.
This slide illustrates some examples of LIGA parts. Note the very high aspect ratios. LIGA can be used to build structures millimeters tall and a few micrometers wide, like the post in the upper graphic. It can also build parts that are a few microns tall and a few nanometers wide, like the coils of the spring. This is probably the most famous LIGA stem in the world. It has been attributed to the folks at Anka in Germany. This stem shows a LIGA, a LIGA made gear being held up by an ant's foot. LIGA Micromachining provides an extensive set of unique components for microstructure fabrications, such as turbines, gears, springs, probes, and gratings. LIGA components extend the additive approach to accommodate interfaces and packaging issues. MIMS fabrication, also called micromachining, has allowed for the manufacturing of micro-sized devices that can be fabricated on top of substrates, within substrates, or molded and bonded. LIGA micromachining yields individual micro-sized devices such as gears, probes, springs, and rods. Depending upon the devices being fabricated, the output of the legal process could be the device itself, or it could be a mold or a stamp that can be used for the mass production of a device. You can download the supporting MEMS Micromachining Learning Module and the related activities from the SCME website. Thank you for viewing this presentation produced by the Southwest Center for Microsystems Education.